welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. This is a 1974 Williams Starkwell. It's a four player EM and it could be yours. Let's go over with what I have done to the machine. First thing as you can see I have rebuilt all the score reels. The score reels have been completely disassembled piece by piece by piece. The PCB boards have been cleaned, all brand new coil sleeves, all the coils have been tested, all the linkage, little gears, everything have all been cleaned. The stepper have, has been rebuilt, the coin unit has been rebuilt, the player unit has been rebuilt, and when I mean by rebuilt, I had taken this all completely apart in the pieces and went through, cleaned everything, reassembled, lubricated everything that needed to be lubricated. All the relays have been gone through, all contacts cleaned, all the relays have been readjusted, all the leafs tweaked and done what needs to be done to make them work perfectly. All the Jones plugs that are over here have been pulled out, taken and cleaned off, and then re-put back in. I have also installed, it's called a EM Attract Mode. It lets the machine blink like a newer solid state machine. You can move this jumper wire here into different areas on the board to make it blink differently. You can see it right here blinking. And also here as this red light blinks. And just put it in a different jumper spot and it blinks differently. It's got a brand new heavy duty power cord on it. The original cord wasn't up to specs so this cord has been put on to replace the original cord and it's long which is very nice. So as you can see the head's been completely gone through and looks beautiful. All right now the play field. What I did to the play field I completely removed everything off the play field the upper apron, the lower apron, all of the posts, all of the plastics, the pop bumpers have been completely removed off the play field. What you get is rebuilt drop targets. All the switches on a play field have been cleaned and readjusted. The ball gate's been gone through. The pop bumpers have brand new bodies on it and skirts. The beauty rings that are on them have been all polished. These are replacement caps that I had um, found for it because it had the wrong caps on. All the bulbs in this game are Comet LEDs. So this game is all fully 100% LED'd. The same player shoots again light is a Comet Fire LED and it's got a cool swirly fire effect to it when it's lit. Flippers have been rebuilt. The spinner's gone through and rebuilt all new rubbers on the game. The back glass is in very good shape. It's got a little bit of issues, but it's a solid back glass. All the bulbs have been replaced with Comet LEDs. These are sunlight bulbs that are for the displays. It gives a more whiter look to make the score look better. This is all warm white Comet Retro SMD bulbs. And this little thing you see right here, this is an EM scorekeeper. This lets you give a high score. Well, it doesn't let you give, it lets you enter a high score into it. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll try to get it as good as I can. There you go. It doesn't really look like that. It's just, it's hard to get a good view of it with the camera, but you can see as it cycles through all of the five first high scores. Very easy to enter. You just hold the coin return button right here. 
you hold it in for three seconds so you use your flippers to change things after every selection you push it in and it sets your scores so let's get underneath the game and see what's to offer under there all right here's underneath the play field i rebuilt the flippers as i stated before steppers have been all taken apart cleaned readjusted all the drop targets have been taken apart cleaned and readjusted this bonus unit's been cleaned and readjust, readjusted the pop bumpers have been all completely rebuilt as you can see all the bulbs under here are comet leds everything's been gone through on the play field every single thing all the relays have been gone through get a little light on this so you can see how clean this is board's been completely pulled out laid out on a table gone through stepper has been gone through all the switch stacks on the score motor have been completely gone through cleaned readjusted chime box has been rebuilt and it's got polished chimes on it it's got a new lock hold relay on it all the contacts have been cleaned and gone through and everything is fully gone through on this game. This game is also set to free play. So you just walk up to it, hit the start button and it starts a game. Um, this cord you see here, this goes through to the EM scorekeeper, which is located in apron. This is all zip tied and stays out of the way. It powers off with the machine and it powers on with the machine. So as you can see, this is a very, very nice machine. It is a beautiful machine and it should give you years and years and years of enjoyment. Like I said, I completely go through these machines piece by piece by piece. Um, another thing I did too, all the these little playfield inserts that you see where the light shines through, a lot of them were loose and they uh, have been all glued and reattached in. But yes, this is a beautiful machine. It will give you years and years of enjoyment and fun. So that's what it is all about, I guess. So if you're interested, um, contact me and we will discuss um, pricing or and or delivering or if you are gonna pick up this beautiful machine anyways I guess that's about it so please like and subscribe and follow Mark's Basement Arcade and if you enjoy this machine um, give it a like if not give it a like anyways and there should probably be some cool stuff right here at the bottom of the screen um, there's nothing else I can think of. If you think of anything else that you want to ask me about this machine, please do so, and I will answer all your questions to the best of my ability. Thanks again. Take care, and later.